Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. So the lock I've got clamped up here is an old Yale safe deposit box lock with a uh, slot for a guard key and a customer key. So basically what would happen is you would go into the, the big vault room with the guard, he would put his key in, rotate it to 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, I'm sorry. His key would sit there, it would lift these two levers here up to the point where that fence could fall in and then you would put your your customer key in and you would rotate it and then when you got to here it would have the levers lifted up already and it would start to move the bolt in which would move this fence and this fence into all of the lever gates so when picking this lock, we need to pick both the guard key and the customer key. Um, and it all tensions from the customer key right here. So I'm going to be trying to tension it from here. But then I'm going to be picking from both sides. Um, now the way these are made, they sit inside of a door. So they've got these little holes in them. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and block that with a little post-it note so that I can't see in um, these levers are all serrated um, makes picking this incredibly difficult there are also false gates um, and the spring tension is just incredible so this is not an easy task by any means and I'm just hoping I can get it open for you but we will see
Yes. All right. Ah, I'm very happy I got that. This is a very tough lock to pick. Um, all right, so as you can see, the uh, fence has now retracted into all of the levers there. And then when I go to move it back, all those levers will fall back down and relock the lock. So let's uh, get this vise out of the way and go ahead and get this thing taken apart. cover well should come right off there we go all right so there are the two guard levers and there are the I think it's five five or six um, customer levers there we can go ahead and take these uh, keyways, noses, whatever, out of there. This one actually has a thing on the back of it that compresses the, um, or that moves the bolt. So I'm just going to take all the levers out of here before taking that off. So we've got our guard levers here. There's actually three of them, not two, sorry. So we got one. Two. And three. And guard levers don't seem to have serrations or false gates on them, which is interesting. Okay, just got a phone call and it stopped my recording, so whatever, picking up where we left off. Um, the guard levers don't seem to have any false gates on them or anything, um, but the uh, customer levers do. So we've got the serrations on the front there. Go ahead and get all them laid out. Oops, some of the springs were crossed over each other. Yeah, so they've got those little serrations on the front there. Okay, so there's, there you go. It's eight levers total. You got three guard levers and five customer levers there. And these all have those little, they're kind of like false gates. So then this is the tensioning nose, um, which interacts right there with the bolt assembly, which has the two fences on it. And then when we look at the front of the customer fence there, it is serrated. So it interacts with 
those serrations on either side of the fence there, or of the true gate there. So they get stuck and you gotta really force them in. But um, yeah, there you go. There's an old uh, Yale safe deposit box lock. Um, I've actually, I think I, I have one that's even older that um, I'll do in a separate video so we can see the differences between them. But um, there we are. Uh, I don't know the model number of this thing, but um, if I figure it out, I will, uh, I'll add that to the description as well. So, all right. Thanks a lot, all. Take care. Have a great one, and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye.